and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and Reviewing. Big play of the day here in the trading room. Great play. Nice read on this. Uh, really a beautiful move and it's still going. Uh, you could still be in this even. It looks like 30 is very likely here to occur in big, which I really did think was a target today. Decided to get out early and there was nothing wrong with that. It has been a long week and the market's going to do what I think too here today. All right, getting back to this. So anyways, big rated very, very well. 20 points per the system. That means that you look to short it. Uh, you take the gap in the direction of the gap if the rate's right in the 26-point system. Open, rallied here. Boom, we got in. Push back. Had the stop in the right place. Broke, broke, broke. Could have taken more. Got the drop. You could have got out here. You could have got out here. You could still be in it. Really nice move in big and very, very happy that I had the patience today, uh, that I held with the conviction today. In fact, this is even setting up here. It looks like it's going to break down right in here and drop another buck. So big was a good gap. One of the things that I think it's very interesting, and I did lecture about this in the trading room today, is what you had here was the stock closed the night before. And again, you'll learn this in the class, but it closed at 40.30. Open in the morning here at 31.99. So the stock gap down. And it was a serious gap down for this chart, meaning it was big. So what, what you have happened then is people shorted in the pre-market and then they cover here into the open. Then you had people trying to buy it that are traders that try to buy it as a gap fill. That does not work. Many people that trade gaps do trade them incorrectly and lose. But if you know how to trade gaps well, which I do, if you want to learn from me, you can make a lot of money when you get it in the right direction. But you have to know how to read it. In the case here of big, because it rated 20 points, I knew it was going to fall and break. So even though we were in this short and then it rallied up and pushed back, we were down until it broke. We held on. Stop was at the right place. And I think this is a great example of basically the control. The control here was the right direction I rated, I rated it and, and read it. The institutional control in big was in the bears to the downside, not to the upside. So day traders lost in this today that went to rally this and buy it into this thinking it was a gap fell. It was here, here is the resistance. This is the pressure on the stock. It's going to break down. You short it into the movement of the control. The control is in the side of the bears selling action. And that is why it rated 20 points or more. And my rating system here, it just broke, I'm gonna get a 30. My rating system tells you where to take it and in what direction because based off of the control. Beautiful move in big. Here, this is gonna to go to 30. It could even go to 29 because I gotta tell you, it's really early for this to be breaking down here now. Really early. And this will not flip around here today. So nice selling action in big and great read on it. Classic Melissa here. Classic Melissa, great read here on this. I do exactly what I do so, so well. And one of the reasons you want to come and learn how I trade, learn how I do it, learn how I read directional bias in a chart. This directional bias, the institutional control, and big was to the downside. And traders wanted to buy that. Why? Big gap down, fall off for the last week, and it was a short, it was a short, great read on this. Congratulations to everyone in the room that made money on big today, and we'll see you all next week. If you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap course, last class of the year. It's 2000, uh, for 2018. It's almost over. December 15th and 16th. Email me if you want to sign up and register your spot today.